Hello everyone, I'm Claire Marie B and welcome to my channel. In my video today, I'm going to take you through my June bullet journal setup and the theme I've chosen for this month is flamingos. I actually saw a print with flamingos on it um, when I was in Miami in January and yesterday I was at the zoo and there was tons of flamingos. So again, I was just completely inspired by the flamingos. <laughs> um, so that's the theme for this month. I'm gonna be using pink again i'm sorry last month was pink if you wanted a different color i promise you next month i'm gonna really really try not to have pink <laughs> it's just happened two months in a row that's all um so yeah this month is pink but i you will see i've included some extra colors in there to break it up a little bit and not make it quite so pink For the design, I'm drawing two different types of flamingos as a print, one where the flamingo's got its head up and another one where the head is down. I've decided to keep it as simple as possible as a doodle. I appreciate there's many, many ways that you can draw a flamingo and lots of different um, intricacies and additions that you can make, but this is my simple flamingo um, as a print. I started out this month by drawing the letters um, for June. One of the key reasons for that is if I go wrong with the lettering, then I can correct that, put a page over the top of that. But if I've drawn all the flamingos out and then I do the lettering and I don't like it, I'm a little bit stuck <laughs> at that point. And we all know that I do make mistakes at times. I'm doing two-tone flamingos and using my uh, hoo hoo pens. I believe that's the correct pronunciation. Please do correct me if I'm getting that wrong. I'm using the brush nib to colour in the flamingos. The other end is a really fine point pen. I don't really use that, that side of the pens at all, but I really do like using the brush pens. And they're easy to control even in small intricate areas of my drawings. Thank you. 
And that's my cover page complete. I decided this month not to do a quote page. There wasn't anything that jumped out at me. I may fill that space in as I go throughout the month. However, for now, I'm gonna leave that blank. So let's move on to my calendar page. Once I started drawing out the title and the border, I realized that the flamingo that I drafted in pencil, as you know, I always draft everything in pencil first because as soon as that video, <laughs> as soon as that camera turns on, you can guarantee if I'm freehanding, it's gonna go a bit rubbish. Um, so I wasn't happy with the position where I'd drafted the original flamingo. So you'll see me there just drawing in pencil, sketching out again um, and moving it over to the right a little bit. I use the white pen to add something a little bit extra to the lettering, the black lettering, and make the make it pop. Um, I did notice as I moved throughout the spreads that, despite waiting for the white ink to dry, it still made marks um, on the pages when I went back to them later on. So I may or may not cut that out in the future, or I have to be a little more patient and let it dry a lot longer <laughs> before I turn the pages over. My colour boxes are still here. I really enjoy doing my setup like this. Um, I know I mentioned that last month and the month before. It's here to stay at the moment. I think it makes my page a lot more colourful. So I'm keeping the, the coloured boxes uh, for a while longer. And I've popped a grid to-do list on the right hand side and that's the calendar spread complete. Let's move on to my mission control. I'm putting a Dutch door on the right hand side to do my Instagram planner and um, my trackers throughout the month so I can flip from one side to the other. And on the left hand side, I'm putting the title in. Thank you so much those who gave me tips on the wide nib um, black ink pens. I did buy some more Pigma Microns um, with a lot wider nib and you'll see that I've used those there for the title for Mission Control. I'm putting a flamingo on the left and the right hand side. This is gonna mean that when I flip the Dutch door from one side to the other, there's still gonna be the flamingos that you can see on both sides of the page. The top box on the left hand side is going to have my goals in for the month and the bottom box on the left hand side is going to be for expenses. I'm pretty rubbish at filling this in. I'm putting it there to try and help myself be a lot more, <laughs> a lot more on point with it. But I really do forget to list these things throughout the month. Then when it gets to the end of the year, it's just a nightmare to try and collate everything. So I'm trying to just kind of have a, a general business box there where I drop everything and, and just call it expenses for now to make it easy for myself.
on the right hand side which is going to be the Dutch door I'm putting every day of the month from 1 to 30 and then I've put on there the things that I want to track throughout the month this is things like have I um, done 5,000 steps each day have I drank all the water I want to drink it's just an easy way for me to refer to and check off the things I need to do on a regular basis of the page I'm putting some well-being objectives for the month, which I've really loved doing this. I think that's kind of replaced my word of the day. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed doing the well-being objectives and it really helps me to focus on having a bit of me time, a bit of downtime and really um, putting myself first a little bit throughout the month and doing some things that I enjoy. On the left hand side, this is my Instagram planner where I plan in advance what I'm going to post and on which days. I've really neglected Instagram, I feel, over the last couple of months. It's been super busy with work. I've needed to travel when I'm in a different time zone. I re it really throws me out and I forget what it was that I was going to post. And then at the end of the month, I end up posting loads of things. So I'm really sorry if you're following me on Instagram and you're feeling like I'm not being consistent with my content. I apologize in advance and I promise I will get better. I'm going to use my Instagram planners to get much better at that across the month of June. Of the page, this is my final monthly spread, which is where I capture all of my memories, things that I want to remember for the month, um, TV and movies that I've been watching, just great things that have happened. I'll print out some photos and put them in here. If I go anywhere and I've got a physical ticket, I'll often um, stick that ticket in there as well. Uh, last month, I put things on like my flight tickets and yeah, just, just keep things like that, basically. It's a great way to journal what I've been doing across the month. In the top box on the left hand side, this is where I'm going to list out the TV and movies that I've been watching, have watched throughout the month. That way I can keep a track from one month to the next of where I'm up to with the series. Now I'm going back through my spreads to add some washi tape. I found this really cute heart washi tape which had plink pink, black and grey hearts and then I'm using some grey grid tape and I found a really perfect um, washi tape in the smaller, in the thinner washi tape which really matched the front of the flamingos. And here's my final flip through. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and you'll be notified of future content when I release it. Hope you have a fantastic June. Catch you in my next video. Bye.